All right, today in math, we are learning about something similar to multiples. So last class, we learned what multiples were. Can anybody tell me what those are and remind everybody? Hayden, what's a multiple? A multiple is like skip counting. Right. So it is however many groups of whatever number I pick. So if I'm picking fours, I skip count by fours, and I can go on forever, right? I can keep on adding four more. Factors are a little bit different. Where have you heard the word factor before, though? We've used that vocab word. We all had to learn it. Cadence? They are the two digits we use to multiply. Good morning, Landau and Entry. It is Monday. We will pause one minute. Sorry, guys. All right, we are back. So when we multiply a problem, let's say 5 times 3. We know that the 15 is the answer, it's the product, but the 5 and the 3 are my factors, right? So factors are numbers you can multiply together to reach a number, okay? We all know this, we've learned it. Lost my eraser, one moment. All right, I need somebody to read this top portion all the way down into this tan box. Angie, nice and loud. Everyone else, eyes in your book. Factors and factors. Write the problem below. Then explore different ways to use factor pairs to solve it. Alfred. Alfred is arranging 40 model cars into rows he wants and wants to put the same number of cars in each row. Find all the ways he can arrange the cars. Okay. So maybe you did this with candy. I, I am a pretty big nerd. I like to sort everything. So when I was a kid, I would sort candy when I got home in two piles. All my chocolates over here, and then I would have them in rows of all the different types of chocolate. And then I would put all my sour candies here and sort them all. Are there a lot of ways I could arrange my candy? Yes. There is a lot of ways. What about having 40 cars? Are there a lot of ways you could arrange them in columns and rows? Yes. Yes. So what did they pick? We have eight rows of five, okay? So down the side, please write with me. If you can't make that shape, just make a little box. There are eight cars, right? Across the top, we've got one, two, three, four, five cars. Could we have arranged those in a different way to still get 40 cars? Yes. We chose eight and five here. What's a different way I could do it? Angie? 10 times four. 10 times four, right? Now, I am not going to draw this every time. There's too many cars. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times 1, 2, 3, 4. If I filled that all the way in, that would be a different way to arrange it. Is 10 times 4 still 40? Yeah. Okay. What's one other combination that would still get me to 40 cars that's different than the first two? Josiah? 5 times 8. What? 5 times 8. 5 times 8. So we did 8 rows of 5. We could do 5 rows of 8. Mm -hmm. Chloe? 40 divided by 8. 40 divided by 8 is 5. That's another way to think about it. Could I do one really long row of 40 cars? No. That's what they did on the bottom. I could do that. I know we're not quite down there yet. Okay. So all of those pairs that will equal 40, we already know those are called factors. Okay. That is what today's lesson is all about. So I am going to have Hayden erase my board, and I'm going to scroll down my screen. And you all were correct. Down at the bottom, there are a lot of ways we could do it. They did two rows of 20. They did 10 rows of four. Okay, those are all different ways of doing what we just did. On your next page, who would like to read the first question? Number 10. Noah? What are two more ways to arrange a card into all right, we already came up with one of them. Josiah, what was one of them we came up with? Um, five times eight. Five rows of eight cars. All right, you should be writing with me. All right. What else could we do? Angie? 
Was that one of them they had? I think they had that one. What about 40 cars in one row? Which is my favorite because it's just silly. It's almost like a parade. We can say one row of 40 cars. Do I still get 40 cars? Yeah. Yeah, because one times 40 is 40. All right, now, this is the main part of our lesson. If I give you any number, you should be able to tell me what factor pairs I can multiply to find that number, okay? So we're gonna start kind of slow, but they want us to list all the factor pairs of 40. And when I do this, I always start with the number one. Can I multiply any number by one and get the number itself? Hayden? Yeah. Yes. So I would do it this way, this is how I do it. One times 40 is 40, right? Now you will see in a minute why I left that huge space. There is a reason behind my madness. Is that what you're writing with me? You gotta keep up. So one and 40, are those factor pairs of 40? Yes. yes. All right, now I'm just gonna move up to the next digit. The next number would be a two. Can I multiply two by a number to get 40? Yes. All right, someone tell me, how many twos to make 40? Noah? How many twos to make 40? Two times what is 40? One. 20. So I put my two right here, and my 20 I'm gonna put over here. Okay, now I'm ready for three. Think a minute. Can I divide 40 evenly by three? Yeah. Raise your hand and tell me yes, no, and why. Cadence? No, it's not an even number. Yeah, you cannot divide 40 by 3. Won't work, not evenly. So I skip 3. What about 4? Chloe? Okay. 4 times what is 40? 10. Okay, so I put my 4. And over here I can put my 10. Okay, now I'm ready for 5. 5 times what is 40? Hayden? Um, you can't do it. Oh. Any number can be divided by five if it ends in a five or a zero, right? We worked on that last week. So if I'm thinking of 40, it ends in a zero. Eight. Good job. So I can do five groups of eight. Now the only two numbers in between five and eight that I have left would be six and seven. Are either of those factors of 40? Can I get to seven by multiplying by six or seven? Think it through. No, I see you're shaking your head, no. Okay, six won't work. I can do six times five is 30, six times six, 36, but six times seven is 42, so that won't work. Okay, same with my sevens. So once my numbers meet in the middle and nothing else works, I'm done. Those are all the factor pairs of 40. And this is what we're going to practice all lesson, okay? Questions so far about how we found all these numbers. Hayden? Um, if you're still feeling a little like this, that's okay because we only did one example. I don't feel like I would do very well. All right, but what about if we did several more examples? Mm -hmm. Hmm, let's find out. No. All right, well, let's finish this, then we're going to practice more. Each number in a factor pair is a factor. So how many factors does 40 have? We just count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 40 has eight factors. Make sure you're writing with me. And then number 13 asks us, why might it be helpful to always start with the number one and work up when finding factors, like what I just did? Why would that help you not make mistakes? Angie? Because like it's a little easier. Like it's going super easy for me. You just kind of go in order, right? If you don't go in order, do you think we maybe would have missed some of these on accident? Yeah. Yes. So, you can use your own words if you don't like mine, but everyone should write an answer to 13. Starting with the 1, or just 1, starting with 1 helps me not make a mistake by skipping factors. If 
if you've got better ways to say that, go for it. Make sure you've got an answer. And number 14, once you get that done, I just want you to read it, think about it. We're not going to write it down. I'll save your hand. We're just going to discuss it. All right. I had a great question from Angie. She said, what do I mean by skipping factors? If I didn't start at 1 and I was just going off the top of my head, what two numbers equal 40? I maybe would have forgotten about 5 times 8. Okay, when I start with one and go in order, two, and then we checked three, then we did four, then we did five. When I check all my numbers, does it make sure I don't make a mistake? Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a safety check, so you don't accidentally forget a factor that you already know. It's just keeping them all in order in our head. All right, number 14. How could it help you to draw a raise when you're thinking about factors? We don't have to write anything as long as I get a couple people discussing what they think. Hayden, what do you think? Um, you, well, it would help us because you could like count how much it would like equal. Okay. And you could make sure that you had 40 things in your picture, right? However you arranged it or whatever the number was we were working on. Josiah? You could make sure you know what times you should do. Good. It would help you figure out what your two factors are. Noah, one more comment. Yeah, sometimes just drawing a picture helps all the numbers make sense. So if you're getting confused, go ahead and draw an array and start thinking it through with the picture. All right, underneath number 14, you don't have to write anything there. I need someone to read the directions for try it in the first problem. Hayden, nice and loud. Try it. Use what you just learned to solve these problems. Show your work on a separate, separate sheet of paper. Brad is playing with blocks. He, he has 18 blocks and wants to make an array with the same number of blocks in each row. What are all the different ways he could arrange the blocks? Okay, so now is when you need your whiteboard. All right, they do not give us enough space. So I'm going to do my work kind of in here. So everyone put your whiteboard in front of you. And we are just going to practice, okay? First of all, it's a word problem. So if you're not sure what to do, find your important stuff. He has 18 blocks, wants to make an array with the same number of blocks in each row. All right, wants to make an array, the same number of blocks in each row. We want to know all the factor pairs of 18, okay? So I'm going to put it up here so everyone can see me. Everyone write this on your whiteboard with me, okay? 18 is our target, so put that at the top and put it in a circle. 18 is our target number. We want to know all the factors that when I multiply them together, I can get 18. Where do I always start? When I find my factor pairs, where do I always start? Make sure we're all listening. Madeline, do you remember what number we always start with? A one. Always start with number one. So put a one on this end. Skip some space because we know there's other factors and put your 18 down here. What should I do next? I know 1 times 18 is 18. What about cadence? 3 times 9. Good. We always check the next number, which is a 2. 18 is an even number, so we know it will work. Shh. We are on page 79 in your instruction book, Whitney. Mm -hmm. All right, so you are right. 2 times 9 is 18. Okay, I hope you're all paying attention. All right, after we check 1, then we check 2, we should check 3. Angie, what do you think? Good, six and three, factor pair. All right, we're getting closer to meeting in the middle. So I only have number four and number five left. Does anything times four equal 18 evenly, Hayden? Mm, no. Nope. What about five? Hmm, what about five? No, why not, Chloe? Because, um, because there's five, so it's not going to be 18 there. Correct. If I skip count by fives, I don't ever hit 18, 
And we know a number can be divided by 5 if it ends in a 0 or a 5, right? That doesn't. So that's it. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 8. And if you have a big funny gap like that, Mrs. Hare doesn't care. Okay, I do not. All right? It did rhyme. So now we can write it down here. What are the different ways he could arrange the blocks? He could do a 1 by 18. That would just be one really long row of blocks. He could do a 2 by 9. So we can say two rows of 9 blocks. Or a 2 by 9. These things mean the same same idea. Or a 3 by 6. So three rows of six blocks. Those are his choices. Mm -hmm. okay. So just as a quick review here, factors are the numbers that I can multiply to get a product. We have one more. What are the factors of the number 27? So erase your whiteboards. We're going to try it again. Put your target number at the top and circle it. I'm going to erase mine. We are thinking of all the factors for 27. All right, 27 is the target. I'm going to wait till I see that on everyone's board. Cadence? Uh, all right, get your board ready. Some of you have not written on your board. I will wait. We need 27 written at the top. I recommend doing that so you don't forget what number your target is. Where do I always begin when I'm finding factors? Because this number works for every number. Noah? One. One. Okay? I can always do one times the number to get the number. Every single number. Two doesn't work. What do I always check next? Angie, after we check one, what should I check next? Two. Two. How do we know if two will work for this number? Josiah? If it, like, has, um, if it's an even number at the end. Correct. If it's, it's an even number. Seven is not an even number. I cannot split that in half evenly. Two will not work. I skip it. What's my next number to check? Noah? Three. three. Will three work? Mm -hmm. Three times what? Three times nine. So I put my little number on this side, larger number on this side. Okay, now I'm ready for four. Raise your hand if you think four will work. Courtney, make sure you're working with us. Aiden? Yes, because four times three. Wait, four times seven. Four times seven is close to 27, but it's 28. So four won't work. Okay, Angie? Hold on a minute. We're almost there. We got nine times three. So four didn't work. Will five work? No? Why not? Kaden? Because it has to end with a zero. Ah, uh, zero or a five. Okay, what about six? No. Will six work? No? Chloe says no. What about seven? No, I kind of want it to work because the number ends in a seven, but if I do seven times two, then three, then four, and then five, it doesn't work. All right, what about 8? That's the only number I have left, and then I'm back to one I already did. Does 8 work, Quentin? Yeah. Can I multiply 8 times something to get a 27? No. Nope. So we're done. But also, I just want to notice all the numbers that we're using are all odd. That's true. Yeah. All right, so are these the only factor pairs I have for 27? Yeah, so we can write them all down here. What are the factors for 27? 1, 3... 9 and 27, and that's it. So some numbers have lots of factors. Numbers like 24 and 30, those numbers have a lot of factors. Other numbers don't have so many. All right, we will keep working on this. Uh, remember, always start with 1 and then move on up the number line until you uh, meet in the middle. All right, friends at home, we will continue to work on factors. I will see you soon.